a little deeper here, okay? Outwardly, you look at the situation with the children of Israel. God feeds them by giving them manna. And then he gives them to drink out of this rock that's flowing this water. Okay, that's what's happening outwardly. But what's, what's the deeper meaning? What's the intrinsic significance of these people eating this food that God's providing them and drinking this water that God's providing them? What's the intrinsic significance? just want you to think about that. Okay, are you thinking about it? Okay, you're probably not going to see this coming. Like, I didn't see this coming when it was shared with me, but it's really good. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Think about it. The children of Israel have been in Egypt a long time. Long, long time. God had just redeemed them and saved them so that they're now out of Egypt. But here's the situation. Even though God's people are out of Egypt, Egypt is not out of them. Because they've been consuming the Egyptian diet. And they were living, breathing, walking Egyptians. So what is God's solution? He's going to give them food. And he's going to give them drink. Not from an earthly source. But from a heavenly source. So that they can be reconstituted as God's people. What we eat and what we drink make up the very fibers of our being. God had a bunch of Egyptians on our hands. He had to get the world out of them. How am I going to get this Egyptian element out of them? I'm going to feed them with the heavenly food, and, I give the, and I'm going to give them to drink of some heavenly water to reconstitute them to be a heavenly people. Have you ever considered God being a dietitian? <laughs> he wants to put us all on a very specific diet, a diet of manna and a diet of living water to reconstitute us as his heavenly people. Let's look at the next set of verses here. Okay, this is regarding the manna in John 6. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and they died. This is the bread which comes down out of heaven that anyone may eat of it and not die. This is the Lord. I am the living bread which came down out of heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he shall live forever. So the picture of the manna here with the children of Israel is pointing to Christ as our real food. He's the real manna. And Paul here in 1 Corinthians 10, 4 says, And all drank the same spiritual drink. Talking about the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. For they drank of a spiritual rock which followed them, and the rock was Christ. Wow. Isn't that good? Yes. Yeah. We need to eat and drink yeah. Christ. Yeah. Yeah. As this wonderful heavenly diet, as our wonderful dietitian God is providing us every day to reconstitute us as His heavenly people. Amen.